G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an MX EBR. Now, the EBR exists in real life, but it definitely doesn't look like this. This appears to have a very, very futuristic aesthetic, which actually looks really cool. So, this is a highly customizable standalone rifle type weapon capable of being fired in auto and semi auto alike, and it has custom sounds and animations. A very high quality weapon package indeed. So let's get into the attachments, and first of all for the receivers, you've basically got the same sort of receivers that you'd get out of a 44 Magnum, where it goes standard, powerful, hardened, and um, advanced. Not in that order, but there's four attachments there for doing damage, and 132 damage is what we land with that. Now for the barrels, we can either go for a long barrel or a short barrel. Curiously, the long barrel seems to be shorter, but it does give us better stats, so I'm going to chuck that on. And for the sights, there's a little bit more going on here. There's some Aerotech sights with some magnifiers onto them, there's Euclid Spectre DRs which appear to be in thermal scopes, there's these ones, and all of these ones, there's quite a little bit going on here, very very tactical attachments here, but let's not go all too far with that, let's just go for a basic Aerotech first of all, and we'll move into some sniper ones later. Now there's a muzzle attachment here, you can chuck on a flash hider, a muzzle breaker, or a suppressor, that's a no, that's a no brainer for me. Now for the stock, there's a little more interesting stuff going on here rather than having a recoil compensating stock and then better recoil stock because the thing actually gives you some pretty cool attachment modifications for each. This one increases your hip fire accuracy along with this one. This one's got a cheek rest, so improved aim time. If you, you read the descriptions, you sort of get the point of this, but in terms of the best looking one, I reckon that one looks the best. And going for a large magazine, we'll set our ammo capacity to 20. Same with the small magazine, I'm not sure what's going on there. And for the ammo, you can actually boost your damage or slightly lessen it to get more armor penetrating effect. But you can have an incendiary and high explosive too. I'm going to keep that as FMJ for now. And you can change what stick is on the side of this if you're familiar with any of these modders there. That's pretty cool. And going over, you can chuck on a flashlight on the side there. Makes it look all tactical, I suppose. And you can change this from full auto to semi auto, like I said before. If you go over to full auto, you'll lose a little bit of that damage, but have a better DPS. And you can change the ammo. Going up to 308 ammo gives us 199 damage, which seems to be pretty damn good for a rifle like this. So that's all right. And of course, we've got a legendary effect if we need it. I'll chuck a, I'll create a couple more of these, and I'll see you in Gunners Plaza. Okay, here we are in Gunners Plaza with our MX EBR. That's what it looks like in first person. I do like how the uh, Aerotech reticule seems to be glowing, and it's not easy to see when contrasted with similar colors or similarly bright colors, but it's easy to see the most. That's what we look like in third person with this thing. I've created a couple of others, and don't worry, not all of them have suppressors. I'm not that terrible. All right, let's get started. This one has, whoops, that's the crouch key. If you if you hit the crouch key before your character's ready to do that animation, you just shift the camera down. It's really weird. Anyways, we'll get started on these gunner dudes and dudettes. That's obviously a woman that I just killed. And this thing is firing 308s with the suppressor, as you saw me build before. And this thing is definitely doing the job. A nice stealth weapon. We're probably going to get detected by these turrets in a second, but hopefully we don't. All right. Here's the animation. I'm pretty sure we've seen this animation out of the EBR Redux that was on a couple of months back. That was a good mod. I don't know what happened to the mod author, though. Did I just miss you? Bloody hell. And I missed you again, but I got that third time. I hit him the third time. That's good enough, right? And we'll switch over to our suppressed semi-auto one. This one's got the iron sights, which curiously have no, like, rear sight to line that up with. But we don't really need it. We've got this with explosive legendary effect. So, we're going to be just fine. I'm going to put this one on the back burner, though. It was just to show you how the explosive things work. It's basically the legendary explosive effect. Might I say, the actual explosive um, explosions act a lot better than they do in Fallout 76. They're all weird in that game. Anyways, we'll switch over to my um, semi-auto sniper-looking one. Give you a little bit of a listen to what this thing sounds like. I'm noticing a lot of misfires with this thing. That's not good. Someone needs to put a projectile override on this barrel or on this particular thing. I think this is chambered in 308s too, so unfortunately there's no projectile override, which most of our shots, even though we are directly aiming at them, they're not going to get there because the bullets don't actually make it out of the barrel, which is kind of annoying. 
regardless, we'll try to use this thing a little bit in bats. We've got the penetrator to perk, so we shouldn't be affected too much by the old uh, glitches there. But we'll go ahead and crit Bridget. You know what? We'll back around the corner while she's staggered and bring out our automatic one. This one's got a reflex sight, I mean the holographic sight, except uh, that it's got the magnifier on, which you can't flip there. I guess that's just there for tactical benefit. It's also got incendiary bullets, which is pretty cool too, I guess. Basically, just like the incendiary legendary effect. You Stimpact. Well, I'm going to kill you now. Go for a critical on you. I think this is firing 308, actually, which is, uh, probably wouldn't guess by the amount of recoil it doesn't have. Alright, hopefully you throw your gun at me. Not quite, but I'll pick it up like that. And now none of you fuckers can use it against me. It's going to be smooth sailing from here. So that's why I added her into Gunner's Plaza, because now all of these Gumbies will be able to do basically zero damage to me. I needed a little bit of a threat in here sometime. Someone to prioritize whilst um, all of the other swarmers are around me. They should hire me for game design. That was genius move by me. That is seizure inducing. I'm going back to suppressors. See, there's like, you get less seizures whilst using suppressors if you are photosensitive, so there you go. So performance wise, this thing is performing. The quality of this weapon has been really well balanced, to be honest. It's not super overpowered, but if you've got it set up right, it can be very, very powerful. And you do get an option to have the um, explosive bullets for free, so if you really want this to be increasingly powerful or just stupidly overpowered you can actually make that happen but if you want to exercise a little bit of restraint you don't have to excellent mod design all around and i know some big names are behind this too because i saw all those stickers those blokes know what they're doing get a little bit of hip fire on because i always miss this one person do i they just hide away whilst i'm gunning everyone else down get it and then they are there Alright, critical few, that should be done. And we are definitely done here in Gunner's Plaza. A pleasure to use a weapon of this calibre, and I don't mean because it's firing 308s, I mean it's really high quality, so excellent work so far out of this. Perfectly balanced for the vanilla game, I'm not struggling on anything like very hard difficulty, so yeah, it's uh, it's uh, good, it's good scaled for big boys like me who play on very hard difficulty, man. Alrighty, shuffling the scopes around a little bit, because I do want to scope in and get a little bit of range out of these things. So this one just had the reef, um, the holographic side on it before, now it's just got the one with uh, the thermal scope, which is actually kind of cool. I'm actually liking this scope right now. See, this is one of those mods where it's actually kind of good to have those, um, those see-through scopes, because usually the recoil on these things is a little bit too much, and oh, there's some misfiring going on right now. Does this barrel make that happen? I wasn't doing that before with the reflex, uh, the holographic sight. I keep calling it a reflex sight. Bad. Bad me. Either that or I'm just hitting the fucking fence or whatever. Yeah, that's really bizarre. I don't know why that's happening. Anyways, I've also got this scope. This is another see-through looking scope. It's got a nice cross here. I thought this was going to be a super zoom in scope, but no, it's actually quite tame, which is good. Hopefully we won't have any of this nonsense where we have our bullets disappear before they even get out of our barrel. Unfortunately, I, I didn't have the parts to put a suppressor on this thing, and you probably wouldn't ever forgive me if I did, and we are suffering in damage because of it, but we can... I killed that guy. I thought I knocked him down due to Sniper. It'd be nice if these um, optics had the Sniper keyword so we could use them with Sniper rank 2 and we could down people like that. But yes, usually the visual recoil that you get on the weapons, like the camera moving up and down, is a little bit too hard to uh, deal with. Mainly the combat rifle animations, they're the culprit of this. It makes it kind of annoying to use see-through scopes, but this thing... There's only a little bit of upscaling. The weapon isn't really thrown into your face when you fire it, so honestly, the use of the see-through scopes here is actually kind of good. I like it. If only we had the power to fucking kill this guy a little bit quicker. You've lasted way too long. God damn it. Yeah, unless you've got these uh, specced properly and have all the perks that were needed to make all of the suppressed things uh, do more damage and all of that. It's kind of hard sometimes to deal with super mutant warlords, but these fuckers are tanky. I'm playing on very hard difficulty. This is pretty much par for the course, so it's nothing really against this weapon, 
maybe they could buff the damage a little bit, but then it'll be less scaled for other things. Also, I like how you have to wait for the thermal thing to actually turn on before you can actually, you know, deal or see things out of the scope there. That's actually a really nice touch. So, so much love and care has been put into this thing, I reckon. There's just a couple of issues where the gun will misfire. The bullets won't actually make it. They'll just stop maybe above the barrel. There was a situation there. You could see the tracer in the air just fizzle out for no particular reason. We were in hidden for a second, so we did get a cheeky sneak attack critical or two on this guy, but that wasn't really enough. We'll just go ahead and hip fire him until he dies. There's a mutant doggo in here. Nice and squishy. They look so lame without their cool um, glowing textures that they have in Fallout 76. I'll tell you that much. All right, we're back into caution. We're slipping out of danger slightly. Yes, I am terrified, Super Mutant Warlord man. I'm terrified of your tankiness. And, oh, that's fucking brutal there. The game's not even allowing me to shoot him this time. Maybe if I make it so that I aim slightly up. I know, I'm grasping at straws here. It feels like it's a little more consistent when I'm aiming up rather than in a level or maybe aiming down. That's so weird how that works. I definitely did notice it uh, the other time with uh, those, that, what's that weapon called? That little, that little energy weapon that was super overpowered. The Wasp. Yeah, that had the same issues. I found out that if I was aiming it at a certain low angle, I wasn't actually able to get any of these bullets to actually fire out of the barrel, so it's really annoying when that happens, by the way. So, I'll probably be putting the uh, semi-auto ones away after this, but I did want to run through this place just with semi-auto rifles, so I can blow you away with damage from the automatic ones in this next clip. Hopefully we bloody get there, if this thing will fucking let us. Heh, <laughs> let us. You're the color of lettuce, doggo, because you're green, and lettuce is green. Alrighty, so in Fallon's apartment, so I did struggle a little bit. Obviously, it went better with the suppressor when we were back into uh, caution for that extra sneak attack crit damage, but wasn't really... I mean, I was pulling my punches there. I could have gone a lot better, but I chose to hold back. I was going easy on the muties today. Alright, I'm on set, and we'll probably call it a video. Alrighty, time to kick this guy's newt ass. I've got myself uh, with my automatic weapons this time so we're going to be doing this like a stealth commander and you'll see what kind of damage difference it makes when I'm using automatic weapons with sneak attack criticals of course it'd help if I managed to get those first couple of shots in for sure but whatever but yeah we're doing pretty good so far I mean the fact that we can't use a uh, sniper to knock enemies down with the semi-auto ones is a little bit of an issue it would help us out in terms of uh doing damage to our enemies a little bit just by virtue of knocking them out of the game and if they're one of those enemies that'll move up to you nice and close to actually um, detect you like that we can just stop them from doing that entirely if we um, ragdoll them with the necessary perks okay so apparently I can stagger with this thing in full auto which is going to be super useful since this guy's only an upscaled Mylert King and believe me they're not as tanky as they are as this in Fallout 76, but it feels like it sometimes. Okay, we've got many criticals ready to go as well. Einsight seem to be working out pretty well, despite having no sort of point of reference at the back. And if things go down south, we can always go into the pond, have a little bit of a swim, and get ourselves back into uh, caution. And therefore, we can get even more sneak attack criticals on him to increase our damage even more. But not even breaking a sweat right now. I don't even know what that health damage is from. Maybe I hurt myself a little bit. Getting a little bit of a shitty situation now if he does those hits. So, yeah, I can't, probably can't survive another one of those. So, using a tactical use of Aqua Girl here. Probably can't even see right now. Neither can I. Back into caution. And unfortunately, we can't really uh, get him in bats right now. This would be in a very optimal time to use bats, even though we aren't getting a whole lot of accuracy on him. Luckily, we've got four crits in the bag ready to go, so we can take him out nice and easily. Just a second. What the hell is a newt? Is he supposed to be a newt? Is he some sort of lizard? Because I always kind of assumed that they were frogs because the sound that they made. Because I was... I don't know, but that that makes no fucking sense looking at it closely, does it? So some sort of lizard, but they live with the crabs like they are one of them. It's rather strange, really. Also, I did notice something over here. 
but I think you get the point of this weapon, a very, very high quality weapon. As for where I got this, someone uh, tipped me off, sent me a download link, and it is a very good weapon indeed. Hopefully the um, modders of this weapon aren't too salty of me for showing this off before release. If you are, um, let me know, I'll probably private the video, you can wait, I'll wait until you actually release it to um, re-release this video along with it, in like, retroactively, but yeah. That is enough for me. If you'd like to see this thing in your game, I don't know if I can redistribute it. I'd, I'll, I'll show you the video where I did find it, though. Then it'll be on him, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Thank you for watching, guys.